Good morning. Jason and his family have some personal news to share <laughs> today. Very big this news. is now day three of this personal news. Yeah. We've been sitting on it. We've Twitter was it. very excited about this. Oh, yeah. uh, we no longer have a landline. And when you did, did you have one of those we phones? We did not. We did not <laughs> have a rotary I love, phone. I love the rotary phones. We used to have one while well, my mom did in her. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Don't you, miss, back. Don't you remember the days of being like a teenager? We had a we had a mm -hmm. phone in the basement, like in the laundry room, the mm -hmm. unfinished basement, with a cord on it that was probably I don't know, six feet, ten feet long, yeah. Yeah. and you'd you'd take the phone and like run it all the way into your bedroom so oh, you yeah. could talk <laughs> yep. without mom and dad hearing. Now like privacy was just real well, good back then. Did you ever right. have the princess Great. phone? I did not have yes. the princess phone. Did what you is that? We didn't. And this is the. The, the just the I don't know how do you even describe it I'm it's just a yeah. plain phone <laughs> that you know it I feel like teenage girls had the princess phone now do you remember the one where you could see all the parts on the inside yes, that, that, was was cool. that was fun <laughs> that was fun that was fun it lit up I like that one sure. I actually won that in a, a school <laughs> contest because I sold the one of the you know high you the 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 whatever yeah. you know like, you know how you yeah. magazine yeah. 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 all right so we're, we're talking about this because uh, everyone reacted to me like welcome to you know 2010 right. or something we had a reason for having a uh, landline in our house and why there's definitely a divide on people who have children and people who do not if you are single or childless you probably have never felt that urge to have a landline mm -hmm. but with kids if you have a babysitter you don't always know what the babysitter's cell phone situation is going to be absolutely yeah, or important. if your phone runs out of battery and something happens or, or do your, off, does your you kid know where touch. to find right. it it's a little yeah. more of a concern yeah. I think. yeah yeah my my husband i asked him do you know anybody that uses a landline he says i think your parents are the only ones yeah. that i know that still have one mm -hmm. but the last time that we've had one was actually in 2013 and it's mm. because it was part of the providers package mm, right. um, and we didn't even buy a phone to go with it it was just cheaper for the package right. deal with yeah. internet and television the stats are staggering on this the numbers are crazy so in 2004 five percent of people were using their cell phone only so remember 2004 was before the iphone right, mm -hmm, right. Uh, by 2020 63 percent of people are using the cell phone as their primary source of calling people. I thought it would have been higher. Actually. Right. Well, there's still a good number. There's still 30 some odd percent yeah. of people that are using a landline uh, there and they expect eventually that landlines will just go away. In fact, what some of the predictions are is that with business landlines that they may be gone within the next five or six years, mm -hmm. wow. right? Especially with the pandemic as we've really moved into Google Meets or Zooms right. or, or cell phones too. Yeah, I was just sense. talking to um, one of the communications persons at people at a hospital yesterday and she said that they are moving entirely away from their landlines mm. and yeah. i thought whoa and that's what provoked the change for us my yeah. wife works from home and throughout her 14 15 years working from home there have been conference calls where you dial into well now because the pandemic has increased the technology and the use of kind of mobile communication yeah. they have switched to uh, microsoft teams that's another one a lot of businesses are using yeah. and so she doesn't need to dial in anymore right. yeah. and she texted me she's like okay you win we can finally get rid of the landline. What are you going to do with their $13 a that, month? That is yeah. all we saved. We saved $13. There you go. Yeah. I thought when I called to cancel it, I'm like, they, they said, and your new bill is now $100 a month. And I'm like, $100? What was the old bill? And they're like, $113. You're yeah. like, yes, there you go. Know. Well, you know, 13 bucks is 13 bucks. Yeah, I'm glad sitting say. here thinking, I don't even. Like at the Weather Center, you know, we have our landline. Yeah, you, I, what do you hit to dial out? I guess nine. I don't nine. Use, nine. use nine. So that shows you how much I use. Oh that. yeah, I, I don't use through email. I don't I've use it either. See, <laughs> I've had coworkers who worked here for years that I had to show them how to use their voicemail. They're like, <laughs> I've never used it before. They're like, all right, cell phones yeah. have changed things. They just happen. Yeah. Yeah.